Hi, this is Paul Schreiber of Synthesis Technology We're here at Novcon 2019, and I'm excited to announce a new collaboration between myself and Dave Rossum of EMU on our new 300 Ultra VCO. So for those of you who are familiar with MOTM, this is a new design, but it's based on the output structure of the old MOTM 300 VCO. But Dave has a new sawtooth core. What this core does is it uses his SSI 2164 in a special configuration. It has a brand new, never before seen way to make triangle ways without any kind of crossover distortion or glitches, but it still retains the old design that has the output stages and mainly the pulse width modulation. The E300 still has the high temperature stability, long tracking. In fact, we've improved it over the original MOTM 300 by having even more adjustments we do at the factory to make sure it stays in tune and it stays stable over many, many hours of work with less than a tenth of a hertz drift. So I'm just going to play a quick demo of three of our oscillators. We have a pair of pulse waves and then a little bit of PWM and then we have a sub-octave. So what I've done differently that's not on the MOTM 300 is I've added a switchable one or two octaves below with a dedicated output. So I'm just going to do a little chord here. And I'm just going to go up in octaves. And what's interesting is what you're hearing is you can see there's a slight detuned beat on purpose. And it's going through our prototype of the CS80 filter. Now I've been showing this CS80 filter at trade shows for several years now but I was never happy with the performance until Dave said, try using our SSI 2164s. And so originally we had CA3280s. We tried other 2164s, but with the new SSI parts, we stuck them in here and we showed people today at Novcon and it's nothing but please, when you go ahead and ship it, when can I place an order? So the Hyperion, it's going to take precedence between now to the end of the year, but as soon as the Hyperion is further enough along, I'm going to go ahead and put this into this final form. This again is an R&D platform. It says so right here, right there. It's not going to look like this. It's not going to be this big. This is just so that we can do testing. And I'm hoping to have this around May or June of next year for a retail price of $399. Thanks again.